I'm representing here the Council of Europe and in particular the Standing Committee to the European Convention on Spectator Violence and Misbehavior. This is the only international legal instrument in the area of safety, security in uh, sport events, which has been operational since 1985. And last year, in 2016, we opened for signature a new convention, which should considerably expand the scope of our work. This is a convention on integrated approach to safety, security and service at football matches and other sport events. This convention is currently signed by 23 countries and we expect it to enter into force this year. Uh, the convention works uh, in uh, the area of football safety and security and as I mentioned this is the only international legally binding tool in this field and we are working currently on promoting it. The convention introduces several important uh, innovations in this area of work in particular an integrated multi-agency approach which takes into account interest and uh, particularities of roles played by different stakeholders in the field of football safety and security, sets up coordination mechanisms between those stakeholders and ensures that different aspects of uh, modern uh, safety, security and uh, service environment are properly integrated in the holistic approach at uh, all major Sporting, sporting events. Currently we work on promoting the convention, making it uh, used in all the countries uh, in Europe and outside. And uh, in particular we work with the countries that host or plan to host major sporting tournaments, particularly football tournaments, such as uh, Russia with regard to the next World Cup, uh, 13 countries that will host the Euro 2020 Championship and uh, Qatar who will host uh, the FIFA 2022 World Cup. Uh, here in Interpol we are examining various possibilities for cooperation because as we all work in the area of safety and security there are clear possibilities for joint work cooperation in, with regard to uh, promoting police coordination and cooperation, exchange of um, relevant information, prevention tactics, risk assessment protocols, etc., etc., all the areas which fall under the uh, scope of um, the new convention but are also of interest for the Interpol work and we develop specific activities in which we can cooperate and work together in order to make uh, football matches safer and more secure for spectators and participants. We particularly look forward to cooperation with regard to the preparation of the FIFA 2022 World Cup in Qatar where Interpol has a very advanced study project already with which we, to which we try to contribute and with which to coordinate our relevant activities in, in those countries. Also, our cooperation will probably grow into other areas of work with regard to football safety and security and we'll try to work together on developing specific handbooks, uh, learning materials, tools uh, to be used by uh, practitioners, police officers, etc., etc. So we are really looking forward to close and very effective cooperation between the two organizations and I'm pretty confident that that will be a very successful uh, exercise that will also bring lots of pleasure to two organizations.